Welcome to Ford Tech Talk. In this series, we'll focus on tips to help you fix Ford and Lincoln vehicles right the first time. In this Tech Talk post, we'll be discussing a fuel collar for the secondary fuel filter on a 6.7 liter Ford Power Stroke diesel V8 engine and its proper fitment. This new collar was developed for 6.7 liter diesel engines starting with the 2017 model year. Prior to 2017, there were only two fuel ports attached to this filter, which sits on top of the engine. A design upgrade in 2017 added the third. The filter change is a relatively simple operation, one that many customers can perform outside of the service environment. But when working in this area, especially when inspecting engine areas with a long reach, people can sometimes inadvertently lean on this third fuel port. And that can damage the port causing a leak. Changing a fuel line is a significant repair involving running a new hose to all eight cylinders on the truck. So Ford engineers came up with a solution, this simple fuel collar kit. It's designed to make the end of the fitting more robust and add extra protection during maintenance. The fuel collar in no way affects the performance of the engine. In fact, with fuel filter service intervals at 30,000 miles and some fleets going longer, you may see some 2017 and later trucks come into your shop without one. If you do, you should install a collar with the new fuel filter. The collar is conveniently included within the fuel filter kit. It's an easy operation, and the instructions come right in the kit. When you look at the fuel port collar, it's made up of two identical clamshell halves. Before installing the collar, attach the fuel return line connector to the fuel filter. Confirm it is secure with a gentle tug. Then, assemble the clamshell halves around the fuel return line connector. Line up the bead on the clamshell to the groove on the fuel return line connector. The taller half lines up to the filter side, and then line the second half up with the first and complete the installation per the instructions. Squeeze the two together. You should hear a snap, just like that. After it's installed, test the collar with a gentle pull to make sure that it's seated. Then verify the job. Use a feeler gauge to confirm the clamshell gap is the right distance. It should measure between 3 quarters of a millimeter and 1.2 millimeters. Once installed, the fuel collar should protect the fuel port for the vehicle's service life. If the vehicle comes in and does not have this collar, you'll need to install it. If the vehicle comes in for service and already has a collar, you don't need to replace it. And when you're choosing parts for all of your repairs, remember that Ford parts feature a two-year unlimited mileage limited warranty. That's all for this post. Thanks for watching. Check out the rest of our series of installation and repair tips for Ford or Lincoln vehicles. For more information on Ford or Motorcraft parts, contact your Ford or Lincoln dealer or distributor or visit FordParts.com.